Because of family, welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully, you guys having a great and exceptional day. It is Tuesday. It's been a crazy day thus far, but hey, we're still gonna keep this train going and go from there. Today's word of the day is feast. Stands for a large, elaborate meal, banquet, a religious festival to entertain or feed um, simultaneously or to eat heartily. Experience something with uh, gratification or delight. And every day I wake up and open my eyes, I'm able to walk, see, hear. Um, envision life's plans, goals, and aspirations, I'm eternally grateful. You know, I was like, that's one thing I can always say with all sincerity because you never know when this life can be taken away from me. If you've seen my content regularly, you know that I've had, I had three family members pass away last year in 2022. One passed away on Christmas Eve night. So Christmas Day, you know how that can be. And it was hard, very, very hard on the family. Um, and a lot of craziness has been happening ever since. So that's why I'm more grateful and have more gratitude in 2023 than I ever had before, because I know that my life could be taken away just like that. You know, that's why the shirt says in the front, I don't do drama and behind it, it says I do business. So I'm just reamping a lot of things, got my mojo back and, you know, it is what it is. And if you're negative, if you got drama, if you're trying to scam, you got to go. I got no place for you in my life, in my world, especially on social media. That's what I love about social media. When the scammers and the fraudsters and the fakesters, fakesters come, you just hit the block button and call it a day. So to those who are watching, if you say send me a cash app, you're getting blocked. If you say inbox me, you're getting blocked. If you say I can make you a million dollars, you're definitely getting blocked. So I'm just putting that out there now. I'm not going to have a conversation with you um so anyways because i already have what i'm doing from a business perspective from selling products creating content buying real estate wholesaling real estate getting rental properties um doing affiliate marketing with cryptos and things of that nature possibly getting back to the travel business so i got what i need i got enough on my plate plus a full-time job i got enough on my plate so i don't need to hear any more pitches from anybody else but anyways um today's quote of the day i have two quotes one quote is from my favorite artist Slash entrepreneur Snoop Dogg says, sometimes if you're lucky, someone comes into your life will take up a place in your heart that no one else can fill. I could not agree with that statement more. And a lot of times that could be a current or future significant other. That could be somebody having a child. That could be just building a friendship because that is needed. Men and women need friendships. Um, too many times people get caught up in their relationships and they don't see anything else. Too many times people get caught up in their work and they don't see anything else. Um, you know, like me, I have a plan to to possibly get into another actual brick and mortar business in a sense, uh, more of a passive business, but I, I need to find the right team. So I'm in the process of trying to do that. Um, I'm going, taking some certification, I'm tra some training courses, getting the information right. It's a pretty self-explanatory business. It's junk removal business. And you know, all you need is a truck, the right team, possibly some the right power tools, get the right website and get the right cards and go from there. You know, because um, it's something that's not 24 hours and it's something that you can do at your leisure because you're just setting up appointments and, you know, you're putting the limit on what you're able to move. You ensure that you get the right uh, contract with the right um, landfill company or organization. Most of the places where I live at, there's actually government facilities where there's a landfill. So you go from there. But that's that's a goal of mine to possibly work towards in 2023. But definitely going to be working towards more of amping up the affiliate marketing business, possibly getting back to the travel business and just getting back into the business aspect of things. And when it comes to social media, I, I'm just literally going to, I feel bad for anybody who's on my um, Twitter, my Facebook, or any of my social media platforms. I'm literally going to be like, do simple, two simple things. Click two buttons, two clicks. Click the link to my YouTube page. Click the subscribe button on my YouTube page. That's all I care about at this point in 2023. Two clicks. Click the Click my YouTube link that I send out. Another click, click the subscribe button. That's all I'm asking. I don't think I'm at being unreasonable here, especially if you are a friend or a follower of mine on, on my social media, because if I see that you have a YouTube page or any other social media business page, I will like it. If people, if I never even visit that page, I will, will follow. I will like it. I will subscribe to it because I know that you, regardless of your situation, are working hard towards building something or maintaining something. So I just, I would just ask for the same courtesy you know, at the end of the day, to my friends and family who have done that, I'm not talking to you, but I'm talking to everybody else who's on my friends list on social media or who are followers of mine. And I'm at all. Only thing I'm ever asking you to really do is two clicks. Click my YouTube link. Click the subscribe button. If you never watch my content, that's cool. Just trying to get my numbers up. So I don't think that's unreasonable. Second quote is by Eminem. He says, "People can try to reinvent themselves. I don't think you can really change who you are, though, because who you are is pretty much." where you came from 
and what you've done up till now. Now, I somewhat agree with this statement. I believe you can reinvent yourself in regards to what goals and aspirations you have. All right. Now, I don't think you can reinvent yourself in regards to who you who you specifically are and where you come from. But just because you come from a specific area does not mean that it has to be like if you come from a drug infested area or area where there's crime ridden things of that nature, does that make automatically mean that you're going to be a criminal forever or that you are a criminal? No, there's plenty of people who came from bad parts of the United States and other parts of the world, and it doesn't make them a criminal. They grew up around bombs and bullets going off, fam hunger, famine, crime, et cetera, and so forth on a regular basis, but it doesn't mean that they are going to do those things because they've been surrounded by that. Environment doesn't always mean, it makes you think a little bit differently, act a little bit differently. Yes, I agree with that 100%. But environment doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be a hardened criminal because, great example, with those police officers, what happened in Memphis, Tennessee, you know, they, the officers of the law, you know, all seven of them that were involved in this horrific situation, you know, and a lot of them, majority of them come from great backgrounds. So you can come from a great background, a great place, and still be a piece of crap. You can come from a background, great background, a great place, and be the biggest douchebag on the planet, commit horrific crimes, kill, murder, rape, whatever have you. So you a lot of times where you come from has nothing to do with who you are as a person. You know, I just I just got to keep it real on that aspect. Great example, um, because you can work toward every day. We have a chance to work towards being better. Great example. When I was younger, my handwriting was atrocious. My, my grammar was atrocious. My reading levels was atrocious. Now you can't keep a book out of my hand. I read up to five to seven books a day. OK, I listen to podcasts religiously a day. I do not play around um, with learning. I, I I take that very seriously because there was a time that one, I did not like learning because the majority of the stuff that the, the public school system was with well, this school system as a whole. The curriculum was boring to me. And two, it didn't feed my interest. So now that as an adult, when I'm learning something new, it's either a life lesson one or two. It's something that actually feeds my interest. You know what I mean? So when I'm learning about economics, I'm learning about culture, I'm learning about history, I'm learning about um, investments, I'm learning about tax write-offs, learning about different things from a health perspective. These things matter to me because it affects my day-to-day. -day. That's why I don't pay attention to a lot of other things because it does not affect my day-to-day. -day. If it affects my day-to-day, -day, then I need to really pay attention to it. Um, but anyways, another quote by Jay-Z. I'm just going off of multiple quotes today. Jay-Z says, identity is a prison. You can never escape. But the way you redeem your past is not to run from it, but to try to understand it and use it as a foundation to grow. Now that I 100% agree with, okay? Because it, identity can be a prison and it's something you can't escape from, but it could be a way that you can redeem your past and whatnot and not to run from it. Like Jay-Z was a drug dealer. You know, he doesn't ever run away from it, uh, but look at him now. He's, a, he's, a, he's basically a billionaire, you know, a legit bi billionaire. And he's an entrepreneur, <laughs> Various different businesses, various different things going on. Him, his family, they are literally of the definition. Jay-Z and his wife, Beyonce, are a definition of a corporation. Snoop Dogg and his wife are a definition of a corporation. I don't know if Eminem is married right now, but I'm sure if he is, his significant other operates, they operate as a corporation. And that's what you want to do because people, I, I'm not married, but when I do get married, I will have to say that my, me and my wife are going to operate like a corporation. OK, meaning that, yes, love, natural stuff, compassion, being there for each other, understanding, picking and choosing battles, natural stuff. As my one of my married friends tell me he's been married for 22 years, he says marriage is all that plus whose stuff you're willing to put up with. And then two, are you willing to operate like a corporation? And when he expounded upon operating like a corporation, he's like, yeah, we're not just splitting the bills and whatnot, but we're splitting investments. We're ensuring that we're protected from an economic standpoint. We're growing as a corporation. A corporation cannot stay stagnated. Therefore, relationships can't stay stagnated. You know, like the love part you work on, the cherishing and compassionship you work on, being there for each other, not cheating on each other. Yes, all that is natural. But in the capitalistic country, United States of America, the money has to be talked about and how are you contributing from a financial standpoint? That has to be talked about. That has to be engaged. What are you contributing? How are you getting it done? The, the natural motherly and wife duties and the same thing with being a father and husband duties, that's natural stuff. That's been going on before there was running water, before there was electricity, before there was things called taxation, corporations, governments, etc. This is all natural stuff. So that's why I don't really placate on that because that's to me, that's just natural. It's natural is waking up and going to bed and drinking water. You know, speaking of which, my mouth is getting dry, so let me drink some of my water. 
But yeah, at the end of the day, that all that stuff needs to be natural. Okay. But yeah, we will operate like a corporation. And to my couples out there, we're operating like a corporation. My hat goes off to you. Salute. Because at the end of the day, you're making a money move by being there for each other. One, you're making a money move by um, supporting each other. And you're making a money move by investing in various different things to ensure that the found economic foundation, the love foundation, the family foundation, and the economic foundation is on, is on everything is in order. And everything is growing because you're constantly planting seeds like within your garden of your of your yourself being a family, a.k.a. being an organization. All right. So that note, that's all I got. Do the great three free things like share and subscribe. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Um, crazy world we're living in. Crazy times we're living in. But we still all need to go out of our way to try to smile, make other people smile. And just be the best people that we can be at the end of the day. Because in my personal opinion, life is too short. Keep making the money moves. You know, a buddy of mine was telling me how he's, um, you know, he just got out of the military. And he's thinking of opening up his own um, government contracting business because he's an IT guy. So I'm more, um, like, uh, more power to him. I think he's he's um, living in North, yeah, he's living in North Carolina now. That I went to high school with. And uh, he wants to, um, he's been he's been mentored one and he's taken classes. And um, he wants to open up, uh, you know, because he's a veteran, he's going to, you know, be, get funding from the S Small Business Administration, earned benefit. And, um, you know, he's going to open up his own um, IT company and he wants to, you know, solicit government contracts and all that great stuff. And that's a big business. He doesn't want to move back to the DMV area, but he thinks he might get like a um, duplex or something to that effect. So if he has to come up here, to, uh, come up to the DMV area to get, you know, go to the parties and do some smooching and, you know, connect with different government organizations in order for him to solicit government contracts, however that goes, he's going to go for it. I'm, not, I'm not like, you know what, real talk, more power to you, man. I, you know, I love to hear stuff like that um, because it's it's a goal and aspiration of my say, hey, man, whatever social media you got out there with your organization, let me know. I will click the like button. I will click the subscribe button and I will click the follow button and I will click the share button because that's the least I can do. That's a free thing. Doesn't take much to do with that. But in today's world, you think like because I, I put a post out um, yesterday saying I never get home from the gym. I'm just like I looked at my social media and was like, OK, all my friends online love liking and laughing at all my comedy stuff that I put out that has nothing to do with my business. But all, only strangers are subscribing to my social media business pages and really only strangers are buying my products. So I'm not mad at the strangers buying my products because as the one post I put out there, it's not your friends and family that's going to make you rich. It's strangers that's going to do that. That's cool, and I greatly appreciate it. I'm grateful for anybody who supports me because I go out of my way to support everybody else. But it kind of just bothers me a little bit that uh, people will love my humorous stuff, but when it comes to my business stuff, it takes two clicks to just say like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. I don't understand. I'm trying to be the man. If you just like and subscribe, I'm trying to get mine. You know, I'm just like, I know I'm a corny rapper, but just dude, like, I'm just asking people sincerely, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. All right. On that note, do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. As I always say, make money moves or you're going to live bro like a fool. Take care, family.